So do they have anything for breakfast? I don't know. Um, what the room look like? Can you face time? Hold on. Yeah. What's hold on. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Oh, this is what it looks like when you enter. There's a mirror right here. A little refrigerator, microwave. This desk, the TV right here. This the bathroom. And the water and stuff is working. I'm gonna check. <laughs> The TV and stuff is working. Girl, against that ball on the other side of the house. Um, yeah. So y'all chill there. I mean, it's booked until Saturday, but um, yeah, we'll just go from here, basically. Well, hopefully my flight don't get delayed again so I can hurry up out there and figure out something. But go ahead, I'm about to figure out my hair situation because I don't know what's going on here. Okay. All right. Take your shoes off. So a quick update on what you just saw there. Texas got some snow and in my opinion, it's just my opinion, I don't even think it was a lot of snow, right? But that goes to show how completely unprepared Texas is for a weather emergency. There is no water, there is no power. You got the, the water pipes and stuff bursting all over the place. It's crazy, it's crazy. And like the entire San Antonio though, <laughs> like, I mean, everything is affected. And I was so stressed out over the past few days, me and Ren, because my flight was canceled twice. So I was actually supposed to be flying out today and that flight got canceled. And so now I'm supposed to be flying out on the 19th and let's just hope that flight don't get canceled i did get an email um and a text message saying that weather may impact my upcoming flights the first few times they sent those out they ended up canceling the flight but um we were able to finally find a hotel so we can get the kids somewhere and it's to the point they had to go 30 minutes away so they are they had to go out to new bronzeville new bronzeville New Bronzeville? Bronzeville. It's like 30 minutes away, so nothing in San Antonio. You're not gonna find anything in San Antonio. Everything is booked to the point we had to go clear out there, and it was, um, I booked from today until Saturday, so hopefully everything is a little bit better resolved at that point. Um, maybe I'll be home at that point. We'll see. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Yeah, it's been stressful being here and then being there with no power, no heat, no water, Last night they spent the night in a 40 degree um, apartment with temperatures dropping. So that was kind of, um, uh, that was kind of stressful. Like I was really upset. Like <laughs> I was so stressed out. And even though I know, I, I mean, it's not like I would have been able to do anything being there. Like it, it would have made me feel a little bit better to at least be there because you know angel i still need to teach her how to drive and stuff like that i still need to help her get her license and so even though the car is there it's not like they were able to do anything you know it's 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 just the little things it's like if i could just you know you, i can't even explain it but you know when something's going wrong and it would just make you feel better if you were there to at least offer some type of comfort or something something you know so being stuck here was, um, it was kind of stressful. But now that they are finally there, got dropped off safely, they got TV, they got power, they got water, stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I can relax now. I can relax. Like I said, hopefully my flight don't get canceled, but we'll see how that goes. As far as work goes, we're still at work. I just hate it. I just, I just hate it so much. And we still have work to do, so... We're right now discussing like virtual clinicals and stuff like that. That way we can still get all of the hours and stuff that we need in order to graduate from this program. It's been kind of stressful. I won't even lie. I'm just trying to figure out what else. What else 2021? Because you're not off to a good start, okay? We had, we were rooting for you, okay? I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? And I just need you to get it together, okay? Because you're looking a lot like 2020 right now, okay? Okay? 
That's all I'm saying. But let me go ahead and do these freaking clinicals because low key, I was so stressed out. I, that was the last thing on my mind. I was not going to do it at all. I just couldn't even focus. But now that they're good, I'm good. And let me get back to work. really quick I have to pause my session on um, Swift River almost done with one for today <laughs> and I'm still watching gumbo back here in the background oh, I need my charger mm. need my charger yeah I'm about to take a break I'm about to make some freaking tacos Ugh, I just realized I don't think I have everything I need to make these tacos it's fine, I'll make it work. But um, yeah, I'm about to make some tacos. Oh, drop my purse. Okay, now I'm a mess, I'm being a mess. I gotta take that upstairs. But yeah, got this. Set y'all here. Cause my phone is on 3%. I need the light. Boom. So I got the ground turkey right here. Got the little white areas because I was defrosting it a little too long in the microwave. So it's fine, it'll work. With everything that's going on in Texas right now, I'm still trying to make sure I keep an eye on the weather. And it looked like it may snow tonight again, but I'm not sure. And then Thursday, it's saying a 50% chance of snow, so I'm not sure what in the world is going on there. But do you guys follow me on Instagram yet? Did you go and check out the Go Army page? Did you see your girl on the Go Army page? Hey, I'm Sergeant Andrea Starks. I am a chemical soldier, a 74 Delta, and I'm currently reclassing to 68 Charlie, which is an Army OPN, and I've been in the Army for over four years. I keep telling y'all to follow me on Instagram. Y'all don't be wanting to listen to me at all. It's a good time over there, I'm telling you. You really should follow me on Instagram. <music>
so it's thursday morning it's actually 9 11 9 11 on a thursday morning and um i just woke up I'm trying to figure out what i want to eat for breakfast Side note, one of the best things about being back in Georgia is being able to go to Kroger to get my freaking kombucha. This is my favorite brand. This this flavor, this brand is my absolute favorite. This is the only one that I've had that I've actually liked a lot. And they don't have a freaking Kroger in San Antonio. So I think they have one in Houston though. But that means I will have to drive all the way out to Houston in order to get some freaking kombucha but I'm gonna have to make that happen. I am sitting here trying to figure out what I want to eat for breakfast. I'm thinking about getting some more Dunkin' Donuts. I just don't know if I want to spend the $30 because I don't want, because yesterday I ordered two of the bacon, egg, and cheese bagels and then a small, a small frozen coffee and some donuts. I don't think I want the donuts, but I do want the bagels. Hmm. So I might try to drive to get it because Rain has two cars here. I just don't know if I want to go outside. Hold on, let me see. See, look at this. Hold on. I don't even know if you can see this. It's raining. So I really don't want to go outside, but I really don't want to spend $30 on three items that would cost less than half that cost if i go get it versus postmating it i think i'm gonna just try to go get it postmates is expensive and i understand why they are being compensated for my laziness i get it but dang i spent 30 dollars yesterday on that stuff when if i would have went and picked it up it would have been 15. Yeah, now that I said that out loud, I'm going to get it. Okay. And my phone is dying. I didn't charge my day. <laughs> I didn't charge my phone last night. It's on 7%. Let me, let me hurry up and go and do this. Rain came home, so he's about to take me to get breakfast. So I'm back and I got my breakfast. I ordered a bacon, egg, and cheese bagel. A bacon, egg, and cheese bagel, but this is a croissant, but it's fine. It still looks good. I'm still going to eat it. I ended up getting some uh, strawberry frosted donuts with some sprinkles. And I stopped at Starbucks so I can get me a white chocolate mocha with some vanilla syrup in here. And yeah, I'm probably just gonna sit here and start editing this vlog, honestly. It is 11.07. I just got off the phone with Angel and the kids. They are gonna try to order some breakfast. I don't know what's open around there, but they're gonna try to order something. I don't know. Um, they were supposed to have served hot breakfast at the hotel, but because of COVID and the weather, they are not able to do it. So they had muffins and they have bottled water which I mean that'll hold them over, but I'm gonna, I'm just hoping, hoping somebody can deliver something to them somehow. So. Hmm. So the kids and my sister don't have breakfast and I'm trying to now figure out how to get them breakfast. stressed out y'all don't even understand uh, how irritated I am right now because so they can't get anything to eat because nobody is so okay when I decided to come out here I ended up 
spending a whole bunch of money. I spent over $400 on groceries and like snacks and stuff to put in the house. Mainly stuff that needs to be refrigerated. That way I knew for a fact that since I'm down here and I'm supposed to only been down here for four days, um, you know, they would have been good or whatever. So when it comes to like money and stuff like that, I have the money with me in my account on my card that I have here in Georgia with me and they're in Texas. And my flight has been delayed a few times. So as of right now, it looks like I'm still flying out tomorrow. So fingers crossed there. But as of right now, they can't get any food. Like they have some chips and some snacks and she grabbed as much as the stuff that don't need to be refrigerated as she can. And I'm like, okay, maybe I can order some food and then try to get an Uber or something so she can go and pick the food up because of course nobody's delivering right now, but nobody's taking online orders. Nobody's answering the phones. I'm assuming it has something to do with maybe the power and stuff like that. So she said that they have enough like apples and chips and stuff like that, but I'm not there. So I don't know what they had. Like, I don't, I don't know if they have enough, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just overthinking it, but I seriously would just feel better if I was there with them. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up, meditating and taking time away. You always posting up pictures, trying to look like you're winning. I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen, soaking in moments we live in. Yeah, you got the nerve to be on me. Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't ask me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be Hey guys, so I just made it back to Texas from Georgia. Thank goodness. I made it back about 20, 30 minutes ago, if even that. Um, yeah, after I got on that second flight, everything was just going. Everything was just going. Um, side note, I started watching a movie on the plane and now I gotta find where I can watch the rest of it for free because it was a super good movie. It had Denzel Washington's son in it. So yeah, I need to um, finish that movie. Anyway, yeah, so the Uber dropped me off. I got straight in the car. I wanted to go upstairs to check the apartment and everything and see what it's looking like, power, whatever. And I need to check the freaking food in the refrigerator. But um, yeah, they did not leave the key in the car like I asked them to. They have it with them. So I'm about to head over to the hotel and get them now. They actually have been eating apples and chips for the past few days. So I'm going to take us all to get some food as well because I didn't eat anything this morning. I had a muffin. Not, I didn't even eat the whole thing. So yeah hopefully there's enough room because i have my suitcase they're gonna have this big suitcase and bags and stuff like that so let me just get over here um i don't know i don't know wish me luck just wish me luck <laughs> Pure and 
I just got back from the store to pick up like just some water and stuff like that. Of course there was none, but I did find a bunch of like flavored waters. The little ice, hold on, let me see what I got back here. I found a bunch of these. So I got us, it was like three flavors left. So I got us each of the flavors that they had left. Um, and I also bought about 10 bags of ice. I don't even know if you can see that. Let me see if I can turn this light on. I bought a bunch of ice and I also got this um, little bucket here because I'm thinking I'm going to try to put the ice in this bucket, melt some, pour it into the toilets and we're going to have to just um, uh, flush the toilets like once a day, no more than twice a day um, just to kind of, you know, not have the entire house smelling like urine and feces because when i came here when we got here today it was gross so angel's coming right now to help me with all this ice and these freaking bags but y'all this is crazy like the things we have to do to adapt it's crazy Hey guys, it's the morning time, still no water. Um, ignore this bonnet, I still have my buns and on the top of my head. Uh, let's see. So I'm about to just make some breakfast really quick. Mia says she wants some bacon, eggs, and um, chocolate milk. So that's what I'm about to make. watch a little bit of tv i have not watched soul yet is that what it's called i think i'm gonna try to watch soul today that seems like a super cute movie um leave sam alone get your cereal and all your food and go actually don't just don't touch anything just but yeah we still don't have water though so i'm about to go ahead and try to make breakfast the clean way without how can I make breakfast without leaving dishes behind? But yeah, we still don't have water, but I still gotta work Monday. We have to go to the schoolhouse Monday and I'm hoping the water is working by then because um, if it's not, that means I'm not about to have any clean uniforms because when I went to the airport, I had like the day, the day we left for this, for the, what is it, the four day, because at the end of the four day, that was my last clean uniform. And of course I had jumped right on the plane and went to Georgia. So I didn't get a chance to wash anything at all. So I am not gonna have any clean uniforms and I'm not gonna be able to wash my ass. I'm just you gonna- You stink. You stink. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just about to be sitting in this schoolhouse, funky. Yeah. About to baby wipe it down. Put on a bunch of perfume, I guess. A bunch of perfume. A bunch of perfume. And, and cat costume. Oh. Oh. And some cat in a cat costume. Oh my goodness. <sighs> like. Oh, what happened? What? Don't take it personal. I ain't lying. Hiding, I've been grinding, multiplying. I've been trying to get my weight up, staying prayed up. 
Meditating and taking time away You always posting up pictures Trying to look like you winning I'm writing rhymes in the kitchen Soaking in moments we live in, yeah You got the nerve to be on me Faking your life for the IG If you got my number, don't add me Cause baby, I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus I'm on hiatus mm -hmm. I'm on hiatus uh -huh. Baby, don't check for me Taking time out to be Take a break or a little vacation and chase 